Today we're going to do a review of the cam bearing installer made by MBS Manufacturing for the Evolution engine for Harley. Okay, let's walk through this. So I've already removed the cam bearing with a collet puller that I've already had. Now when you purchase this kit from MBS, it comes with a plate forcing screw, press plug, which is has a lip machine to set the bearing to the proper depth. Comes with two thumb screws. And the plate is threaded so you can store the thumb screws there so you don't lose them. Um, the plate's not labeled, but once you figure out which position, I just mark on top with a marker, so. So first, let's put some oil on the screw. Start by assembling the tool. The forcing screw in the plate. Okay. Now once that's through, thread the Press plug onto the forcing screw, top bottoms. Take your bearing, oil up your new bearing. This is an old bearing just to show. Install bearing with the numbers towards the plug so they're facing you when you're looking at it. Okay, we'll set the tool on the case. It lines up here. I like to thread these in until they're seated and just back them off a tiny bit. That's how I get a screw. Thread it in. So thread the plate in. Just so it touches the case and back it off a little bit. Tighten your thumb screws and then tighten that by hand. And it's ready to. Press in. Tighten until it's bottom, until it stops. And loosen the tool. Now you can take the thumb screws out. Nice and countersunk. Okay, just to double check it, you can take the tool apart. I'll stick it back on here just to we'll double check the depth. Okay. 
Here, first we'll zero the plate out. Now we'll take a measurement on the depth uh, from the plate zeroed to the bearing, which will be the same as going from the gasket surface. So this bearing is set at 3.231. Before I took it out, I measured it. The other one was at 3.217. So it's a little bit deeper, which is fine. It's not touching, not touching the lip in the back of the case. And it actually gives it a little more oiling through the groove here. I was a little concerned, but the original measurement, it seems like it was out a bit too far. So it's dead on. So, pop that off. And you can see bearings in there nicely. Alright, hope you enjoyed my review. Thanks a lot.